<laughs> Hi and welcome back to Wayne'sKitchen.com. Today we're going our second installment in our traditional uh, Italian dinner service. Um, I'd like to welcome back Wayne. And I'm Gordon and good to be here. This is our second installment in our traditional mm -hmm. Italian meal service. Um, we did last edition, we did the, the antipasto and the primo. Uh, today... What are we doing today, Wayne? Funny you should ask that, Gordon. <laughs> <Bert. laughs> today we're going to do a secondo and contorno. All right. Now, secondo is, is the, the main course. Now, traditionally, that is chicken or beef or pork. Yeah, the full uh, meal. The full, yeah, it's a yeah, big meal. And right. it's served with the contorno, which is just very simply prepared vegetables. They could be beans, corn, carrots, and things like that. Very simple, and they're supposed to be enhancing the, the meal itself, right? Uh, usually with, with the main course, you serve potatoes, like roast potatoes or something like that. So today we are doing Vinci's Grassi, which is a lasagna, a traditional lasagna dish from La Marche, which is where we're going to be. That's the province of Italy that we're going to be in. Um, in the, September. In September of 2015. The town we're going to is Petrotoli. It's a little town. We've, we've got a castle there. We'll, we'll do some great... Yeah, like Wayne owns a castle. Yeah, I do, yes, in my mind. Um, I would love to own a castle. <laughs> but we're going to rent the castle. We're going to rent it for a week. And we've got a bunch of friends coming over and we're going to do a, a shoot there too. We're going to prepare actually this very same dish that we're doing now. Okay. But we're going to do the local ingredients and, and hopefully it's going to be that much better. We might switch it up a little bit. But for our secondo, which should be a primo, but it's not because it's heavy and bigger than a primo. Right. It's full meal. Secondo. It's full meal deal. Uh, it's called Vinci's Grass. Okay, so not only what does that mean, but how do you say that again? Vinci's Grassi. Vinci Grassi. And what does it mean? Very good. Well, it actually is a... How would you put this? It's the locals in Italy at the time, which was in 1799, by the way. Mm. Uh, it, it was a, a take on the Austrian general, uh, his name, actually. Uh, Vinci? No, actually, his name was Albert von Windig Graz. Oh, okay. Or Bates. And so he was there fighting Napoleon in the Battle of Ancona in 1799. And so the locals decided, because he was such a great guy, and they liked him, that they would make him a very special dish. And so they decided to build on a, a local dish that they already had, which was called Prince's Grass. Now, the, the roots of that are from 1789. And the chef that wrote that was a one from the Manciarata uh, town at the time. Uh, his name was Alberto Nevia. So when we're eating lasagna, we're eating history. We're eating... Well, this one in particular, yeah. You're eating we're history. eating tribute, we're eating... Yes. That's really Absolutely. neat. Absolutely. Yeah, it was yeah. very interesting when yeah. I read that. So. Yeah. Anyway, okay. that's what we're going to be building. Okay. And what, what's uh, in it? I'll tell you what's in it since you asked. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. I didn't, but... Wayne, what's in it? What's in it? Well, we're going to have beef, okay. uh, pork, and the recipe that I looked at calls for chicken bits like giblets and lizards, uh, <laughs> gizzards, things like that. All those little bits of chicken that you really don't want to cook. Crack, yes. I don't want to cook them. No, I don't either. Those, those are in that little bag that you throw out and drop in there. That's right. right. Or unless yeah. you're baking soup, then no one knows. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I just used regular chicken breasts for it and mixed it all together and uh, added garlic and tomatoes, uh, tomato paste. And that's how you, you can tell it's going to be really full then. And onions. Yeah. yeah. And marsala. We give it that little bit of a nutty, rustic kind of, kind of flavor to it. Which marsala? Marsala. Ah, well, it's a wine. Oh, okay. And it calls for, uh, the recipe, the original recipe calls for a wine, a dry red or a dry white. It all depends on what version you're going to cook. So I took, like I'm telling you now, I took several versions of the, of the recipes and put together what I like. Okay. Right. And I, I think it's going to be wonderful. Can't wait. I can't wait either. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. 
So Wayne, what are we doing now? Well, right now, Gord, we're going to blanch the lasagna noodles. And these are egg noodles, by the way. Okay. And so we're going to blanch them in boiling water, salted, of course. Right. Don't put oil in. Why? Uh, oil rises to the top. It, it certainly does. Right, and then I'm not sure. That was probably something you covered on the previous it episode was of Wayne's Kitchen.com, but we, I forgot. We don't put oil in the pasta while we're cooking it because we don't want to seal it up, right? Right, oh, that's right, you did explain that. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a really neat idea because I, when I've made lasagna, yes. I just throw it in a pot, and then I think then you have a challenge trying to pull it apart. I've yeah. never actually thought of doing it in a big pan like that. Well, if you do it in a pan like this, Greg, you've got the opportunity to use a pair of, uh, what do you call those things, tongs, we, yeah, yeah. yeah, and you can pull them out, because we, remember we're only going to blanch them, so they're not going to be cooked right through. Right, right, so then, and how long do we blanch it for? Then? Five minutes. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, oh, that's brilliant. And then, so we put down um, enough for how many layers then? Three. Three layers, three, so three four layers. times three, like 12 then. So, okay. Well, actually there's 16, because we have a top layer as well. Oh, right, okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Gord, now we're going to build the bechamel sauce, in other words, a white sauce. Now, uh, this is kind of different uh, when we're doing a, a lasagna, but it's, it's what the recipe calls for from that area in, in, uh, in the market, edition. right? So, uh, what's in it is butter, flour, cream. I put a little bit of salt and pepper in it, because that's just me, mm -hmm. and nutmeg. Oh yeah, I can see the nutmeg in there. And so the nutmeg is, is a, a, a spice that is used a lot, because the Italians really love their nutmeg. Yeah. And so we incorporate that into the, into the bechamel sauce. So how this works, I know you can see that we have it already built here because, well... See the miracle of television. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. video. Yeah. Uh, so, and I'll tell you how this is done. First of all, you chop up your onions. You chop up your carrots. You uh, throw in the garlic, and you cook that uh, in olive oil mm -hmm. nicely uh, right. until it starts going a little bit brown. Yeah, you don't okay. want it to burn it. No, you don't. No. And then you throw in your beef. Then you throw in the pork and the chicken all at once. So what kind that. of is it? Uh, lean. All lean. I always use lean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then you're you're draining off any oil and all I, that. Yeah, but there's really, as you can see, there's no oil to drain no, off. This, it's all lean stuff. As I said, it. for a viewing audience, look at that. That is phenomenal. I know, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that beautiful? In my lovely new pot. I was just going to say that, yeah. way. No, I, I thought, and I'm all jealous. I want a new kitchen and I want new pots in my place. I got this for browning now, the, yeah. the meats. Okay. And you actually cook the meats and brown it until. One of the recipes says until the meat starts sticking to the pan. Yeah. Okay. Well, that usually means that you've cooked out all the the moisture. All the, yeah, all and the, I can and you can see from the way how it's sliding around in this beautiful new pot. I might imagine. And that's because it's a non-stick pot, Gord. Yeah. Okay. But but you can see that though it's not burnt. And yeah. Oh, of course not. Yeah. Uh, but what I did here was I cooked it until all the, the the liquid that was boiling was just about gone. Then I added one cup of marsala. Okay, and okay. Marcella is a wine. It's a, wine. It's a, it's a yeah. nice wine. And it's a and cooking wine, right? Yeah, of course yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it just added that nutty, yeah. no, rustic it's... flavor to it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, I added also some basil, yeah. oregano, parsley. Yeah. Now, these spices. And, and thyme. You're referring yeah. to a lot of these spices here. And, um, and so these spices are very popular within Italian cuisine. Why is that? And we're going to talk about that in a, in a few minutes, Gordon. Okay, all right. Uh, and I'll tell you exactly why they're so popular. Good. And so, Gord, you, you were asking earlier while we were doing the, the, the sauce. I was. Uh, about the spices and herbs that we, were, we used in it. So, yeah. what's your so, question now? So, well, on that, uh, you hear you were mentioning nutmeg. So why is nutmeg uh, such a popular ingredient? And, you know, tell me a bit about nutmeg. Well, nutmeg is a spice, of course. Uh, comes in little things that have to be ground, like little seeds, okay, and uh, they use a lot, because, well, it, it grows everywhere. I mean, so it's like it's a oh, yes. it's one indigenous of those, yeah, to absolutely. the Italian peninsula. And they okay. use that in their sweet or savory dishes. Okay. So you use nutmeg in, in, a, in a meat dish like this with pork or, or right. something like that. So, you know, uh, and then basil too, basil, is another... Basil is very, very aromatic. 
Yeah, I love these. There's, there's all different varieties of it, but the yeah. one that you get in Italy, well, you can get the different varieties as well, but the one that, that I like to use is the, the, the big green leafy one oh, that I know. you get. Yeah, bright <laughs> green. It goes great with tomatoes. Yeah. It goes wonderfully in salads. Yeah, oh yeah, I know. Yeah. And then especially like we made a caprese salad, I think, on a previous yeah, we edition. Did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, that was great. That on it. it just adds to yeah. the, the, the taste and flavor of and, the whole thing. Yeah. And what about oregano? Because I've never really understood oregano. Well, oregano is, is what some people call wild marjoram. Okay? Uh, it's an essential ingredient in many Italian dishes, including pizzas, sauces, yeah, and yeah. casseroles. Okay, so it flavors, it, di it differs from one region to another. Oh, interesting. Simply yeah. because of, of, I guess, a different soil and such and, and the, the, the growing climate. So, so here, I have a question for you. Like, sometimes when I'm making my, uh, my tomato sauce, mm -hmm. uh, I'll just throw it in because I think I'm supposed to put it in, but I don't really know what it's doing. Like, what, is, what does oregano do to a dish? What, it, what adds, is it? it adds that flavor to it. So it adds a flavor, but sure. what is that flavor? Well, how would you describe that then? It just describe it as oregano. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. And then, and then the last thing is, I mean, there's many, many herbs, but parsley. Uh, Tell parsley. me about parsley. Now, there's two different kinds of parsley. There's <laughs> there the, the flat leaf parsley that's that's oh, indigenous that. to it's Italy. And then there's the moss type that we get in. in yeah, because that's what I'm more familiar. So yeah, what's the flat not leaf? As, not as flavorful. Yeah, so the flat, flat leaf is the more. The flat leaf is way more flavorful. Uh, and it's best fresh. Of if course, you, if any, you, any of these herbs, right? Well, of right? course, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, you use that in, in, for flavoring in soups. Uh, and it can be yeah, like in dishes and casseroles and, and, and also like for like just adornment. And then from our studio audience, I'm hearing um, my mom's here today, special uh, guest on our studio audience, and she's saying soups. So there's the studio audience, my lovely wife, Teresa, our and my manager. lovely mother, Manny, yeah. or Denise. Denise. <laughs> All right, so. Gordon, now it's time we're going to build. The lasagna. I can see that. So we have all our ingredients. All we the ingredients are here. Meat sauce, our white sauce, our, our noodles, our noodles, our cheese, our cheese, some butter, some and butter. a pre. Yeah, and we'll explain that why I'm using this one. All right. So now we're going to be building. We're going to build it. So we're going right. to start off with the the white sauce. The bee camel sauce. There's one of our studio audience said. Bee camel. Bee camel bechamel, white bechamel. sauce. The bee camel sauce. We're going to put a couple of ladlefuls in there and spread it around a little bit. Okay. Uh, the reason for this. And we pre. Um, pre. Um, Grease the pan? Yes. Yes, we did for it. Okay. And so we'll put uh, some of the noodles down okay. on that piece. So we'll just. Um, and we're going to go four layers, right? So we're going to yeah. be doing it fours. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. A little bit of an overlap. Now, when we start doing the layering with the, the, the uh, bolognese sauce and this uh, white sauce, the bee camel sauce, um, we're going to put half as much or less of the white sauce as opposed to increasing that. that. So I'm just going to show you, thank you All for right. pulling it up in there. I'm just going to yeah. show you how we're going to spread it. Okay. I just noticed like when we're applying the uh, lasagna or the noodle, uh, by having it dried on the towel and it, it lifts off very light nicely. It does and it, yeah. it's not uh, Well, there's actually not if you handle it Carefully. Yeah, it's not going to tear. It's not going to tear or break yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. yeah So we have that down there now the first one then we put A bit more of the white sauce. The white sauce on top okay. and then some spread it around a little bit and We put mm -hmm. some of our cheese mixture the mozzarella the emmental the romano and just enough to have some cheesy bits in there, and then we do another layer of... Okay, and then just build from there. And build from there. All right, okay. So, now we're going to cook it at... 400. 400. All right. For 30 minutes. 30 minutes. There you go, maestro. What a clean oven. Wow. Yeah, we cleaned it just for you, Gordon. Wow, okay. that is a beautiful oven. And Gordon, it's time to pull that sucker out. All right. Going to see what... We've rocked. Let's see what we got here, Wayne. Wow. Know. A good studio audience. Yeah. Yeah. That's worth applause. That's wonderful. That is worth applause, right, yeah. studio audience? Very good. Well done, Gord. 
And so Gordon, now you see we've got it nicely done. The butter browns things nicely with the Parmesan cheese on top. Mm-hmm. Well, let's sit down and eat this guy. No, before we do that, oh. you have to let it rest though. No. Just go for it. Let's go and cut it. All let's right. eat it. Okay, sounds okay. good. So thanks again for joining us on Wayne'sKitchen.com. We had a little bit of fun tonight making this we certainly beautiful did, Wayne. secondo. Uh, so now we have to talk about the contorno. Now that, typically, if we're going to be doing a roast chicken or a beef or a pork, roast or something like that we'd have uh, roast potatoes or right. some, you know simply cooked vegetables you know steamed vegetables or, or something fried something like that but the vegetables are done very very nicely what does this mean <laughs> the cats in the picture the oh, cats in the, the cats in the, okay oh, well, the cat, okay. okay good it doesn't matter i'm going to leave that Part in the studio what is, this, this means that <laughs> The camera person was saying something. Like, so are we Cat. still on or what? Yeah, of mm -hmm. course we're still on. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so with this one, we're just going to serve. As uh, is. As is, with mm -hmm. a nice big Italian salad. Right. And that's the name of the salad. It's called the big Italian salad. And that recipe for that is going to be on the site as well as the recipe for this. Thanks again for joining us. And you can get all these recipes on wayneskitchen.com. Looking forward to seeing you again. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs>